Youth Ministry. Since the beginning of time, a select few have chosen a path with their lives, a path that aims to honor and follow God, a path that attempts to steer teenagers away from the distractions of the world toward true answers, a path that allows people endless hours to play dodgeball, eat Cheetos, and for years long after their time, hold on to the idea they are still pretty cool. Today, there are many that answer to the title of youth minister, but where did they come from and what makes them tick? During our series, The History of Youth Ministry, we will be taking an in-depth look into where these wild beasts came from and, in the process, shed some light on the question, what is it you guys do anyway? So join us as we take a look into the past, the history of youth ministry. The first youth worker. Many people never take the time to realize that the first moment in youth ministry took place during the era of the caveman. Those who follow youth ministry note this documentation in the book of Exodus chapter 74, where it explains how the dinosaurs were very sweet, but needed to leave so as not to bite everything. And so cavemen pretty much ruled. During those bleak but exciting days, a pioneer by the name of Arg Ugg sat down with a young teenage cave boy in what would go down in history as the first youth ministry moment. Breaking down historic boundaries and barriers, Mr. Ugg helped the young cave boy dissect the first real youth ministry issue, how to tell a cute girl that you like her. After hours of debate, they settled on a method still practiced by many today, punching them. From there, the cave people were responsible for some other youth ministry firsts. Noting the fun that teenagers love to have, scientists found fossilization of what is believed to be the first game in youth ministry history. The game, Chubby Bunny. Only in those days, instead of marshmallows, they used rocks. Who was the first youth minister of recognizable fame? Joseph of Arimathea. Methuselah? No. His name was Noah. Yes, Noah. The lovable ark builder is seldom remembered for his key role in youth ministry history, but without him, youth ministry would never have continued. As the Lord instructed him to gather two of every kind of wild animal, few have heard the story of the wildest animal for him to capture. Two junior high students. Noah's hard work continued the lineage of youth workers to the era of the Greek philosophers. Popular minds like Socrates, Aristotle, and Fred the Wise dominated the mental stage of the day. Taking note of the popular speaking styles of these mental giants, youth ministers first began delivering messages to their teenage followers. Filled with mental challenges, witty humor, and clever tools to remember their lessons, youth workers dedicated loving often simple-minded but regardless of their flaws one cannot discount the impact that this line has had on the history of mankind please join us again next time as we continue to uncover the history of youth ministry